Okay guys, I'm pretty excited today as this is my first full day in Mexico City and I've come here to El Hidalguense to have a very unique lunch as apparently this restaurant specializes in grasshoppers and eggs and worms from some sort of plant. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try something totally new that I've never had and let's go inside. So we've been told to try pul pulque. Yeah. <laughs> so she brought us four different flavors to try and then we can order like a big glass of it. <laughs> Liked, I picked the one that has passion fruit in it because I freaking love passion fruit and it's pretty good. What is this made from? Uh, Agave or something, did she say? Oh yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah. Agave, like, and that's what they use to make mezcal, right? Yeah, yeah. and the worm you're gonna eat is, lives inside of the, the maguey. Oh yeah, so guys, we've ordered our food. We've ordered yeah. um, worms, worms grasshoppers. grasshoppers. Yeah. What did you order? I just ordered some quesadillas. <laughs> just some quesadillas. I've already tried But it. I think it's got lamb's balls in it, so we'll see. Such a worm. Okay, Wally, you want to do the space, uh, the spice test for me? Show me sure, how sure, Mexicans yeah. do the spice test. So one thing that I've learned when I when I came to Mexico is that you know Mexicans actually taught me to do this. Every time you go to a, uh, like a restaurant, you know they're gonna bring a few sauces basically, and um, there, there's no standard. They all have like a different level of spiciness. So you take a spoon, you go like this, and you try it. To make sure. So that you always put it on your you always put it on your hand first. Yeah, so yeah. basically that's, that's how they taught me. Nice. So you can kind of know like how spicy it is, because yeah. you never know. Okay, so I'm going to try the sauces myself, see if they're uh, spicy. So you, you know how to. <laughs> no? I follow you. Thank you. My, my friend is just... <laughs> that is pretty, yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. guys, our food has arrived. It's just like a big pile of worms. Wriggly, squiggly worms on top of tacos. And then we've got ant eggs. I thought we were ordering grasshoppers, but we've ended up with ant eggs, which apparently is like Mexican caviar. Ant eggs? Oh god, you're. So let me show you the worms. Seriously. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> Apparently it's gonna be good. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. Very excited. I was waiting for this moment all yeah, my life. And <laughs> let me show you the ant eggs. This is pretty good. There you go. I'm very surprised. Now we have to actually eat it. <laughs> okay, so we just uh, you have the, you have, you have the, Yeah, the ones are pretty good actually. Yeah. Yes, it's really good. I'm gonna try the worms first. Wish me luck. I'm sure it's just like in the Lion King, like, you know, Hakuna Matata, slimy but satisfying, Timon and Pumbaa. Oh, did, did you, are you gonna put some sauce on or are you just, did you, are you gonna take a bite first? Uh, I think we can put some sauce. Okay, I'm gonna put a bit of sauce on. Food worms. Okay, here we go. It's just worms. Yeah, just protein. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> chewy. Definitely chewy. It doesn't taste like anything. It's really chewy. <laughs> I heard that they call this the Mexican caviar. Oh yeah, Mexican caviar. <laughs> Let me show you what I tried. So guys, here is one of the worms. Let me show you. This is a worm. It kind of looks like a caterpillar. It looks like a caterpillar, not a worm. Oh, here we go. Did you film it? Yeah, you can taste it more when you don't eat it in the taco with the sauce. Not that it tastes bad. Not really meaty though, it's kind of like 
I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like. Perfect. <laughs> the best food ever. Number three. You need to eat taco at three times, right? Yeah. One bite, second, and then. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is time to try ant worm tacos. Oh. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah? Okay. Did you like the ant worm tacos? Oh. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I like the tacos anyway. Okay. Oh. A little bit of sauce, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm making faces. It's just food, right? It's just protein. <laughs> I think we just make faces because we're not used to it, you know? It's eating something that we're not used to. Here we go. So what I tried was this. Doesn't taste like normal eggs. Oh, this is what I tried. It's a different one. Oh wow, yeah. This one, this one looks more like a caterpillar. This one was not good. It, had, it was nothing like that. It tasted like soap or something. Who knew ant eggs are actually pretty good? Yeah. It tastes, weirdly, it tastes like a vegetarian taco. Like a quinoa. We put quinoa in a taco. Lo hacen también así? Lo que comí era así como en la libertad. ¿Hace? Sí, este, tiene un aroma. Sí, el chili tiene un aroma muy grande. Did they say where these worms, like, these are the worm eggs, where these worms are from? Or like, or sorry, these are ant eggs. Yeah. Ant eggs, but these are huge. Yeah, they're eggs. ¿A dónde es? ¿A dónde están las hormigas? ¿Es ant? No. They go, they go in nature. Sí, se preparan. No way. They pick it up in the dirt. Um, so I've just heard where my food comes from. He was just saying like that they actually go out into nature, I guess, out of, out of the city, and then they put their hands in the soil to get the ants out, or to get the ant eggs out. Okay, time to try worm. All right. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go. You can do it. So it's, hot. it's good, right? It is. It's, it's greasy. Yeah. Fried worms. It tastes like uh, fried grease or something.